Martin, hello to all my listeners, and welcome once more to Mrs. Martin Can Help You. So, of course, weekends aren't the same now, Martin, are they? And I've had so many letters in, of course, about the demise, the sad demise of Esther Ranson. Mm. Of course, I don't know if you saw it a few weeks ago, did you see The Last That's Life Ever? I, I missed that myself. They had a tribute. It was David Frost was on, wasn't it? Everybody was on, Martin. She's she's touched everybody's lives, I think, you know. And, um, well, there were tears coming down her face at the end, because, of course... Were people, there? Oh, it made you forget her big unsightly teeth for a moment, mm. watching her cry. But, Martin, can I say, she's worked wonders over the last 21 years of that life, hasn't she, mm. Esther Ransom? You know, and people forget, Martin, what Esther has done. You know, if it wasn't for Esther and her pioneering ways... Those dogs who could sing would never have got any television coverage, would they? No, I remember the one that did sausages. Oh, that was marvellous, marvellous. Who would have seen that? It brightened the nation mm. for months. Oh, it did. And of course, there wouldn't have been anything like that, would there, yeah. apart from uh, Do you know, Do you know, I never thought you could make out sausages. It sounded like just like nonsense to me. It didn't sound like sausages to me. I've got the record. Of, of, of Esther? No, of the dog. But the dog made a record called Sausages, which was the tune from... You know, the, you remember the bodybuilder on Opportunity Knox years ago? Oh, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yes, well, I do. they did a song, and it went like that, the tune, and at the end of it, the dog said... <laughs> but it didn't say, it just went... <laughs> like that, it didn't sound like sausages. Well, it's not easy for dogs, is it, really, to get... Because it's quite a hard word to say, sausages. Hmm. More the idea, really, Martin. I oh, know, yeah, but I just thought it was a bit of a swizz. I've, my friend's got a dog who can bark all different notes. Really? They're all on the same, well, all the same note, but at different times of the day. Is that right? Well, that's, that's amazing. People love dogs, don't they, Martin? Mm. There's a man on advert at the moment, and it's for some brand of dog food. He's got three big, big dogs, and at the end of the advert, he said, I love my dogs. And you do believe him. He's there every morning up at half five with them. It says it in the ad, and he's walking them around. It doesn't say whether he's married. I don't think he is. I think he spends his time with the dogs there. So something there for you to think. He's obviously an animal lover. Yeah, well, a lot of people do like dogs, and, and people, some people like dogs more than people. They do, don't mm, they? Mm. But dogs, you see, can be a best friend to a man. And you know what they call them? A man's best yes, friend. Yeah, yes, they yeah, do. That's right. I think, um, I mean, people spend a lot of money, don't they? I mean, buying expensive dog foods and things. Yes, That they, they wouldn't do. spend on themselves. No, um, but a dog actually is very much more intelligent than a mouse. Mm, and it's for life, not just for Christmas. It's not just for Christmas, you see. That's what people think, they're just for Christmas. Whereas, of course, they're for life, you see. Mm. That's, that's, that's a long time. It is, and, and you have to take that into account. I mean, it's a commitment you take on, really, isn't it? Have you got a dog, Martin? No. Well, you've got Janet and the kids I've got there. Janet and the kids. Yeah, so I don't really need a dog. No, you've got enough with your hands full there. Yes, yeah, so Your hands are yeah. faithful. So, we've delved into the animal kingdom, as it were, today. Mm. Do you know man's derived from animals? That's right. I mean, from primates. Primates? Primates, from uh, apes. Isn't it funny how we've come from animals and yet we have them in our homes as pets? You see? The mystery is of the world. I think it's a way of uh, feeling you're in control, feeling you're taming the world. The fact that you've got animals there, they're tame domestic animals. And we can think, therefore, that it's uh, probably a psychological, philosophical thing. Do you know what I read in one of the Sunday papers? The, di the only difference between us and animals is what do you think? Um, I don't know. It was a sense of humour. But I've seen dogs laughing. Have you really? What a Esther. Esther Ranson. <laughs> really? Yes. Probably because when the they have the dogs, there's sausages. Oh, no. Oh, no, maybe the sausages, oh, no, there. sausages there. But I yeah. thought it was quite an odd thing to put in a Sunday paper, because you're really supposed to have truth in the Sundays. Yeah. And lies in the rest of the week. I think you find most of them... <laughs> I think you find most of the animals don't have a sense of humour, though. Cows. Have you seen a cow laugh? There's not much to laugh at in those fields, though, is there? No, all right, all right. then uh, a leopard. Have you ever seen a leopard laugh? I've never seen a leopard. No. But um, hyenas, of course. So there you go, we've proved him wrong. 
But you don't know how he knows have got a sense of humor. What if they laugh at me and they laugh at everything? There's a, you know. I have a friend like that called Lily. Really? Yeah, she laughs. Morning she gets up, all the way through the oh, day she oh, laughs. Right. She's in the home. Yeah. yeah, so that's Lily for you. Sometimes it does get on your nerves though, and you say, Lily, stop it! Like that to her, you know. Too. But then she just laughs, so it does no good. You may as well just let her laugh, just sit there laughing. But, um. She'd be good in the audience, sitcoms. She would, wouldn't mm. she? But they don't let her out because she annoys all the coach drivers and they've, they've put a you know, stop to her going out. So, some thoughts there to Lily in the hall, laughing, as she will be. She'll be enjoying this, she'll be laughing at People her. who work in those homes are very patient, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I, I really admire them, actually. Cause They're they, very patient. And I think people don't realise what hard work it is sitting mm. watching a, a woman laughing and looking after. Not too easy, is it? No, I mean, I suspect she's probably one of the less difficult cases because, you know, you know, are so very difficult. Yeah, I just, but yes, in continents we're talking, yes. Well, yeah. The thing is, mm. Lily laughs, and of course, oh, no, yes. Oh, yeah, dear. Yeah, so it's a double, a double, oh, a double yeah. thing there. And she just carries on laughing. Yes, mm. and she laughs more at the fact that she's oh, some oh, scared. Dear. It's terrible, terrible sad. And she's only 52. 52? Yes. My goodness me, that is awful. It's is there no cure or anything? Um, no, there's not. There's no mm -hmm. cure at all. The only cure, the only time mm -hmm. she, 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 the only time apparently, this is what they said in the home, the time she wasn't laughing was watching Danny Baker's show on a Saturday night. And for some reason she found that terribly sad. So, yes, so my thoughts to you, Lily. I must come and see you when I can stomach it, baby. So mm. that's there, Lily, in the home. So I think, again, we've covered quite a comprehensive range of people's personal problems tonight, mm. Martin. Mm. And we've helped people all over the globe. Well, and, all over the north of England. And helped them mm. with their load. Yeah. Martin, it's been lovely. Thank you. Goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Mm. Mrs. Merton, I thought it was very touching this week, actually. It was a rather sad one. Uh, Mrs. Fabulous Merton, 